Hi folks, in this video we are going to write a simple cucumber feature for explaining the browser commands available through a Selenium wrapper API by name Water. This is one of the many tutorial videos that is available on seleniumframework.com. So let's go ahead and write a simple cucumber feature. I would like to call this browser commands. I would like to give the feature description as explaining browser commands. Okay. So the first scenario what I would like to do is print the browser name. Right. What would I write? when I open Selenium Framework website. As you can see, I've already written the step Selenium Framework, uh, when I open Selenium Framework website in my previous example, edition and first selenium.feature videos. So I would go ahead and select that. Save. Then I print the browser name. Let's go ahead and write the step definition for the second step, which is then I print the browser name. So left click, press Alt, enter on your keyboard, create step definition. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file and I will call it browser command. Okay. You can see the template is built. Now here, what I would like to retrieve is the browser name, right? So call browser name equal to the command is browser.name and let me go ahead and print this right that is it let's go ahead and execute the scenario right click on any of the steps of the scenario and click run as you can see Chrome browser is opened up, seleniumframework.com is entered in the URL and the page is waiting to load. As you can see the browser open it hit the URL and the scenario says it passed both the steps passed and it printed the browser name which is Chrome right let's go ahead and write a couple of other browser commands I'd like to call my scenario print the ready state right so whenever we hit a URL in a browser the ready state of the browser has to become complete which is otherwise called the page load has completed. So let's go ahead and print the ready state. So when I open Selenium Framework website, then I print the browser ready state. Okay. Let's go ahead and complete the step definition. Alt enter and I will use the existing file. And here I would say ready state is browser dot ready underscore state let me go ahead and print this right let's go ahead and run this So the Chrome browser opened up, we entered the URL seleniumframework.com, which is the first step when I open Selenium Framework website. And it's waiting until the page load completes. Otherwise, the ready state value becoming complete. How long does it wait? It waits until, oh, seems like there's an error because I typed it wrong. So let's go ahead and correct that, 
make really thick. Dig this and now you're digging it. So, the scenario got executed and it says passed, both the steps passed and the browser, re browser ready state is complete. Let's go ahead and try some more browser commands. What I want to do is I would want to automate the browser back, browser forward and browser refresh. So let me go ahead and write a scenario where I would say browser back, forward, and refresh. This is just the description I'm giving for the scenario. What I would say is when I open Selenium Framework website, right, and I click, let's say, on the website, seleniumframework.com website, if forward or has to be activated we would first have to navigate to another page in this case i would like to navigate to the about link right once i go to the about link and i hit back right that's when the forward would get activated so i can hit forward and once i do that i'm going to hit refresh so let's do this in the script so what i'm going to say when i open selenium framework website and i click right about link right I first click the about link then I click back on the browser and I click forward on the browser and then I click refresh on the browser okay so let's go ahead and write the step definitions for each of these. We already have the step definition for when I open Selenium Framework website. So let's write for the other one. I click about link. Let's click on the step and then hit alt enter and let's reuse the same file browser command. Okay. So at this point we haven't really covered how to interact with the elements but for now let's just assume that this command which is browser dot link text about dot click okay um, in the next few tutorials we will understand you know what this line of statement means and how can we dissect and understand each of this for now let's just assume that this statement would click the about link on this element framework website okay all right let's go ahead and write the step definitions for the rest of them okay so after we clicked about we want to click back the simple way to click back is you just say browser.back now we will need to know as soon as we click browser.back whether we are back to the page so every time I do a browser back or front I'm going to put right the browser title okay I'm going to say browser title. This is not necessary, but it is just for our output to see, you know, what is the browser title whenever we navigate across pages. Okay, let's go ahead and complete the forward. Right, go ahead and complete browser dot forward, and then as soon as I hit that, I'm going to print the browser title again okay and then finally let's go ahead and complete the refresh refresh 
and then let's recall the title after refresh. Now for simplicity let's put the browser title after back, right? The browser title after forward. Browser title after refresh. Right? That completes uh, the browser commands. Let's go ahead and execute this scenario now. Right click and click run. So what are we expecting here? First the website would be opened, then it clicks on the about link and then we click back. Okay, so let's wait um, until the page loads. So it clicked the about link. You can see the page is loading, right? And oops. I think it clicked uh, way too fast, right? Um, okay, it seems like I have used a wrong variable. So let's go back to the step definition, right? And let's see here. This is the error. I have to use at the rate browser dot title. Okay, so let's go back and execute this once again. Right click and run. Okay. I could have actually, you know, remade this video um, when this error occurred, but you know, errors is when we would actually learn. So I'm not editing this video and I'm continuing after we have seen the error. So, um, so now again, going back to the scenario, the page is loading first, right? And we click the um, about, right? The about link is opened up and then we click back, goes back to home. And then we click forward at this time. So it goes back to about. And then at this time, we hit refresh. And then finally, the refresh happens on the about link. And you know, at, after each step, we are printing the title, right? And then finally, the browser is closed. And it says one scenario passed, all five steps passed. And we can see the output, right? After each step. First, the browser title after back. Right, it goes back to home page. So the home page title is there. Then the browser title after forward is, you know, the about link. And browser title after refresh is about. So this completes a uh, very few basic browser commands um, for Selenium or Water API. Thank you very much.